Hello everyone, this is Par from Par and the Memes, and today I'm going to be talking about the Brockhampton show that went down in Atlanta over at the Buckhead Theater on January 23rd. Now, I'll be honest, this was my first rap concert of any sort, and as a result, I was kind of surprised by what went down in there. Uh, I, let's be say I'm surprised I made it out alive. So anyways, the show started out with uh, some guy walking out with like a hazmat suit and a minor light as well as one of those uh, medical masks that they have. And it was kind of spooky and stuff and I thought it was cool. And then the guy took off his mask and it was revealed that the guy was a mirror and everyone like flipped their shit. It was like so crazy and it, it, it was kind of surprising. And so after that, the first song played, which was uh, Boogie, to my surprise. I was expecting Heat, honestly, considering that Amir was there and whatnot. But when that song started, everything just went, like, completely insane. Like, the crowd went into, like, an ocean. So, like, if one person moved, like, the entire crowd moved. And so as a result, I think, like, only three people were, like, jumping at the beginning and but as a result of just them moving, everyone was jumping because they couldn't do anything else. And it was really scary for the most part. In fact, this is the only other video that I took that was like up close because I couldn't even reach my hand down into my like my pocket to reach for my phone. But considering this was one of the calmer songs that they played, Face, it, I was actually able to get my hand down into my pocket and actually pull my phone out. Uh, the rest of the shots you'll see are from further back because after like 40 minutes of being up front, like maybe four people up from the front, it was, it got to the point where I almost was on the verge of like passing out because again, everyone was like sweaty uh, and also there was a lot of weed that was being smoked and so I wasn't able to get oxygen into my brain. Um, so yeah, that was kind of sad that I had to like sit near the back for the rest of them, but still, even from the back, they had a lot of energy, I would say, and I, I honestly was amazed even from the back for what show that they had, so I, I think I like, I can appreciate shows like that, where it's just as hype anywhere in the crowd, no matter where you are, no matter if you're really close to the front or really far from the back, you still get the same sort of similar sort of experience no matter what. Uh, so the songs that they played, they again, they started out with Boogie. Uh, the, they only played a couple of songs from Saturation, which makes sense because I guess they were trying to go for a very hyped up sort of vibe. And honestly, Saturation doesn't really have too many hype songs on it. Uh, they play, other than Face, they played uh, Bump, Heat, Gold and Star, which uh, in the encore they played like I think about six times in a row, which was kind of insane. Uh, on uh, for Saturation Two, they played Jello, Junky, uh, Queer, Gummy, Summer, Sweet, and Swamp. And the funny thing is, I I like how they referred to Jello as a deep cut even though it's like the third song on the album. I was like, oh, they're gonna play a deep cut? Are they gonna play like Fight or like Chick or maybe like Gamba? That would that would be amazing if they played Gamba live. But no, they went with Jello and I'm like, that's not a deep cut. But still, they, they pulled a pretty impressive performance of that considering that the original was like sped up. I was impressed that uh, Matt was actually able to keep up with all the lyrics of that part. Uh, as you can see, Bareface came on for a couple of songs, uh, which were uh, Summer, uh, Ebony, as well as the end of Bleach, that he has the little vocalized part. Uh, speaking of other songs that uh, were from Saturation 3, they played Zipper, Stupid, Hottie, Sister, and of course, like I said in the beginning, Boogie. Uh, if there was one song that I was kind of disappointed that they didn't play, I was kind of sad that they didn't play Tokyo, because that was like... That other than Junkie, I think Tokyo is like one of my favorite songs that Brockhampton has ever released. But considering that Zipper is basically Saturation 3's version of Tokyo in and of itself, I think they made up for it. Um, so yeah, uh, on Twitter I said I was going to bring my panda mask, 
but sadly they wouldn't even allow it into the theater so I had to keep it like in the coat check area and uh, I was kind of disappointed by that but I was actually kind of glad at the same time because I'm pretty sure it, I would have lost it like at one point like at the end of Boogie there was like this group of like 15 people that like fell down I was included in that and like I was trying to get up and like when I got up there was like this girl that was on the ground and I was like helping her up but then I also saw my phone was on the ground and I'm like oh no so I was like trying to pull her up but at the same time trying to grab my phone so so I was essentially putting myself back onto the floor and <laughs> I, I almost got trampled to death, but I, I feel like getting trampled to death is better than like the passing out that I experienced like, what, 40 minutes later. But uh, yeah, it was honestly a really engaging show. They put out a lot of songs that were, uh, I, I, I feel like they had a really great track list. Um, uh, you might have seen the video on Twitter where uh, the one that Kevin Doan put out, not Kevin Abstract, Kevin Doan put out, where it was some guy was, they opened up a pit and right before uh, the beat to sister drop, right before the drums started, and like some guy did a fucking backflip like, and landed right as the beat dropped, and then everyone just like crowded in around him, and it was like amazing. I sadly wasn't able to get that on film because I was, I, I'm pretty sure that I was too far up to actually see that happening. But yeah, it was, a, I, ah, it was such a good experience and I, I honestly wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this concert review of sorts, I guess. Uh, let me know if you were at the Atlanta show and uh, tell me what your experiences were and if you really loved it like I did too. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.